Wise Guys Cooking is brought to you by Everson Spice. I'm not just the undertaker. <laughs> I am the president of the Chicago Funeral Parlors Association. And uh, it's been my pleasure to do it for the great many years. Following my, I'm such a fan of Frank. And then uh, I play the psychiatrist that took care of Frank's problem. Hey, Frankie. Frankie, hey, my boy, good to How see are you. you, Doc. What's wrong? What's, what's going on? How can I help you? Well, you know, it's very strange. I feel like I'm Frank Sinatra. I, I walk like Frank. I talk like Frank. I sing like Frank. I've even got blue eyes like Frank. Now, that is strange. Tell me about your life, then. Tell me about your life as Frank Sinatra. Where, where, where did it start? How, when, what? Well, I can't really say where or when, but, you know, it's just one of those things. Um, it's kind of like uh, witchcraft, you know? Well, just blame it on my youth. I, I don't know. Um, you know, as I got older, I got obsessed with Frank. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I wanted to do things my way, but I found out I was doing things his way. Well, it definitely sounds like an interesting life. It's interesting, all right. You know, when I was 35, well, it was a very good year. It was a very good year for blue-blooded girls of independent means. <laughs> We'd ride in limousines, mm -hmm. and their chauffeurs would drive when I was 35. <laughs> well, you know, I remember one time, it was a foggy day in London town, and I met this beautiful broad. We spent a lot of time together. And you know, uh, the next thing I know, she was talking about love and marriage. Well. <laughs> I wasn't about to fall into that trap, no matter how tender. But I told her, hey, baby, I get a kick out of you. But this can't go on from here to eternity. You know what she said? Don't worry about me. I'll get along. Well, well like I said, Frank, you've had quite an interesting life. But what I don't understand is why you're so depressed. Well, gosh, you know, I feel like uh, the days are short, like I'm in the autumn of my life. I, I think of myself as vintage wine from fine old kegs. Well, maybe uh, too much wine from Frank's old kegs. Well, <laughs> maybe so, Doc. But, you know, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Come rain or come shine. Well, I think you will. And I think we will. And I think I can, I can help you with this, but it's not gonna be easy. Mm. In the record business vernacular that you're, I'm sure you're used to, this is not gonna be a uh, single. I'm afraid this is gonna be a, a long album. Mm, yeah. Boy, well, Doc, <laughs> I'm with you all the way. And Doc, I want you to know, I believe in you, and you know I just can't help feeling that uh, the best is yet to come. <laughs> well, me too, Frank. Me too. Look, we're going to get to the bottom of this. Make an appointment with my secretary, Ava, and uh, I'll see you soon. Okay. Thanks Good. a lot. Good to see you. Ava, would you send in the... Uh... Is there anybody out there? Hey, Tony. Tony, it's good to see you. What's up? Uh, you know, I got a lot of problems. You know, I think I'm uh, Ronnie Dangerfield. I get no respect, you know? I gotta get my luggage packed. I'm leaving town tomorrow.